I'm going to go backwards for a minute here in case you did not catch my DIY decor of these animals. I actually drilled a hole into this little guy and now it can hold an air plant or succulents. Uh, check out that video. I'll link it right above. You can click the little I and it'll take you to that. So first thing is I picked up the black horse and the black rhino because I busted one. I feel like the black horse would look really, really cute with um, the string of pearls uh, succulent plant hanging out of them. I just think that would look really chic and farmhousey. Uh, he does have holes here, so we'd have to figure out how to close that up. Hot glue, wood, I don't know. Wood and hot glue gun. So that is the first two items of my Dollar Tree haul. You guys, it is so hot in my house right now, so if I look a little dewy, that's why. All right, let's jump into this. I got lots of fun things to show you. These little reading lights I used on Brayden's Halloween costume, which was a cardboard box train. I made a train out of a cardboard box, and I had tons of lights on it. I am going to be doing a full tutorial on that, so if you have little ones that might need a Halloween costume like Brayden did with a train or a car, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a full toot on that very soon. Okay, next, my beloved, my favorite thing, oops, drop something. My favorite thing, decor stuff, decor pieces. So I got all these little balls, and hopefully I can do some sort of little farmhouse DIY with it. And I got this raffia. I had never even heard of the word raffia until my mom said it. Color is like grayish purple. I thought it was really cool, so I picked that up. These candles, this was the last one. This is the Lumine, Luminescence. Little tea light candles, they smell so good, you guys, like so good. All right, let's get into some more exciting things. I picked these up. I showed them in one of my videos, but I never actually bought them, so I always lose these things, so I just keep a ton around, and then I'm bound to find one of them, right? So there's that. What are you doing, Brayden? You hiding? You hiding in the corner of my video? <laughs> <laughs> so, although Brayden is not a baby, I got him this washcloth. How cool is it? Well, no, it's his. You can't mistake this for anyone else's because I want him to start washing his face a little wow, better. This feels good. <laughs> All right, baby, let me finish my haul. It's hot. All right. You, you, I have to show you this. I purchased this from Home Goods. I don't know, whenever I purchased it, who cares? It wasn't long ago, seven months ago. So it's all these like games, they're brain teaser games. I haven't fooled with it very much. I just know it looks cute sitting on my table. They have their own brain teaser little games. So I wanted to show you guys, to show you that this would be so cool as like a coffee table decor or in, even if you could find a little box like I have and, and put it in there. But I paid like nine bucks for the one I have, so this is three dollars. And I don't know, I just think that's really cool that it's like almost exactly the same games. You guys, it's so hot. I don't have this long hair because I think it's beautiful. I have it because I just don't have time or like to go get my hair cut. And girl, boy, it's hot. Woo! Moving right along. Some more decor things. I found these round things, and I'm going to be doing the flower challenge. If you haven't heard about that yet, a bunch of us YouTubers are going to be creating really different flower arrangements and art 
and on Domer Homes, I will link her channel below, is putting on and organizing the whole thing. So we're all gonna have a big playlist, one playlist with all of our videos in it, and I'm really pumped about it. So I have to get my flower challenge project recorded. So I wanted to make sure that I have any little thing I think I could possibly need, which is also why I purchased this big foam board. So we've all seen those, that's nothing exciting. So what else? Okay, you guys, I went to a new Dollar Tree in uh, Towson, Maryland, and how cute are these? Ones have polka dots on them. My niece is going to love these, and I, I forgot to buy the glue. Dang it. So anyway, these are so cute. There were so many different nail options for kids and women, or, or kids and adults. So many options, I really couldn't believe it, because these are like seven, eight, nine dollars at Walgreens or whatever. So I got that. I've never bought clothing from the Dollar Tree, but there's a first time for everything. I got Brayden this little gray shirt. I love gray, I wear gray a lot. And uh, he's low on t-shirts for this summer, so I thought that was awesome. And then I got us some socks. Um, these are thin, actually what I do with these, when my son's shoes are new and they're still a little big, I put thicker socks on them. And then as they start to get tight, and especially in the summer, I put thinner ones on them. So that's that. And these, you know, for my sneakers. I can wear them with my sneakers. In Maryland, we call them tennis shoes, but no one really plays tennis, so I don't know. If, you know, if you're from Maryland, you know what I'm talking about. Why are you saying tennis shoes, man? You aren't a tennis player? All right, now on to the next. I am not embarrassed to show you this because I am a strong, confident woman, or at least I pretend to be. I bought dun -dun -dun -dun, feminine wipes. Why? Because they should just be around. Maybe you wanna use this instead of toilet paper. I don't know, but I feel like it can't hurt to have these around. And some more necessities. I picked up uh, Arm & Hammer because our refrigerator needs it. You know, they make them these days where you pull this open and then there's the mesh there to leave it sitting in your refrigerator so that you don't like knock, you know, open this then knock it and spill uh, baking soda all over your fridge. So I got that. I got a hacksaw. I just, I want to know if this thing works or not. I have a couple wooden dowels that I need to cut. So I felt like if I had this, then I don't have to bother anybody. Like, can I borrow your saw? I'll have my own. So hopefully it should be able to cut through a wooden dowel. Paper towels. I've been buying my paper towels strictly from the Dollar Tree these days. And I love it. I don't have to have like a 12 pack and figure out where to store it and all that jazz. We bought these a while back and everyone really liked them. They're very good. They're hard. Like, if you're worried about breaking a tooth or a filling, I would not suggest you buy these, but they are good. Uh, uh. Salt and vinegar, a family favorite around here. And I really, oh, mommy. here he comes. He heard salt and vinegar. Yes, honey. I have salt and vinegar. Yes. <laughs> Give them to me, I'll open them. Okay. <laughs> so what I was saying was I really don't like to buy cereal because I end up eating it all and it's just sugar, sugar, sugar. So Brayden likes this so I got him a little one because then he can eat it all and then there won't be any leftover for me. And I'm organizing my makeup. I picked up one of these and oh, I have a couple more things. A1 sauce. I figured this is great because the big bottle, you never use it. It just gets expired and you have to throw it away. So this is a perfect size. I'm about not wasting things these days. So um, I'm happy about this find. And this cute little Hello Gorgeous magnet. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I might put it in my giveaway, you guys. I'm nine subscribers away from my May 
goal. And as soon as I get nine more, I'm doing a giveaway. It's gonna be a Target gift card. I have teeth whitening trays, like name brand, and a couple other cool Dollar Tree things I'm gonna add into it. So make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna be putting out the rules and what you have to do to enter shortly. I'm keep an eye out. And it's gonna be super easy. I'll tell you right now, all you have to do is be subscribed and you need to run over to my Instagram or my Facebook and tag someone that you think would like my videos. And I will be picking at random and whoever has done the tagging and the subscribing is entered and I will choose you and I will email you, notify you, and I'm going to ship you the $20 gift card and all these Dollar Tree goodies. Your chances are very, very good to win because my channel is so small. So make sure you enter, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I usually do really, really, really big Dollar Tree hauls. This one was more of a medium size. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out my other videos and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.